Good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. How are we doing? Make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn the bell notification on. We are currently at $11,051 in the account. We are live trading on every one of these videos. Okay, here's what I want to go over today. I want to give you guys what I believe is the most accurate prediction of where we could go before the end of the year. I did this on yesterday's videos for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ADA. I got a ton of requests for Doge. Um, the setups are not the same for Doge. This is a completely different analysis than what I did yesterday because... There's different, it's in a different cycle, okay? Yes, it could move down to $0.05, cents, or we could be moving to $0.50 cents by the end of the year. Let's try to figure out which one is more um, probable in this video. I'm going to go over that full, I'm going to show you guys literally proof of why I believe that's going to happen with past history of what Bitcoin has done following the same structures, okay? Real quickly, guys, you know this, I just got to get out of the way, guys. The trend exhaustion, you guys have two days left, two days left, and the price of this indicator is going to be going up. Real quickly, if you guys want to snag this, I'm going to be using the resources over here, but um, all you guys need to do is go to indicator tab over here. I'll make this very fast. These are separate from the actual membership, but... Here's the trend exhaustion right here. Here's the trend dashboard. Here's the price versus the well money flow. This guy's going up in two days. You have 48 hours left. And then I'm going to be upping that. This down here is the bundle pack. If you get this, you guys will get the best deal possible. It's the rock bottom prices. I'm not going to be upping the price of it this month. So you guys get this for life all the indicators without it going up. So this is appreciating in value. Okay, let me show you guys the accuracy of, the, accuracy of these indicators, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm able to predict these, um, how, how I'm actually coming to these conclusions of five cents or 50 cents with good solid proof here. Let's take a look at this first. I wanna start us off with this. When we, we need to understand what's happening with the trend exhaustion first here and the price versus the well money flow. This is basically calculating the trend. The white line is the trend. When we push into the top red sections here for any cryptocurrency, stock or Forex. This literally works on all of those. This is when we are expecting to see moves back down in the market. This is historically held so true, and this is literally how we are able to call our entries and exits here for our coins. This is why we are currently 44 for 44 winning trades on um, our channel here. I mean, this is, I'll show this to you guys over here. So right here, we are currently 44 for 44 winning trades. The last one we ended up taking was on Matic. And I will show you guys how to get that today and all that. So I just want to give you guys a full update on that. Okay. I think we literally spiked this yesterday on ADA when I made this trade call. I ended up calling a market order for ADA. Um, if you guys are not in the channel here, make sure you are. We This literally spiked right after I called it. So I think our group did actually end up moving this chart up here a little bit. Um, um, yeah, there's, we definitely have millions of dollars in this group already with the people I know that I'm coaching. So great job there. Uh, we haven't lost a trade yet. Let's get back over here. What I want you guys to be watching for here is the, just the ridiculous accuracy of what happens when the trend exhaustion pushes into the top red, the top red section or the bottom red section. Clearly we can see that when it gets to the top, we are seeing moves back down in the market. When it gets to the bottom, we're seeing moves back up. We also saw this over here where we're able to call this crash over here, the second one in the market before it moved back down. And yes, we were able to call this crash up here. We were talking about this on the channel. I said, guys, we do not want to be going long right now. I know a lot of people are going to feel like they're missing out and they're going to FOMO into this, but we were able to clearly see the metrics called and saved us. Some of you guys saved you from losing tens of thousands of dollars because you had this on your charts. Again, this was able to call the top here as well before we saw a move back down. And then even the bottom move here, people thinking we're going to go down and break structure low. Nope, it's not going to happen. We're already in the bottom red zone. That's when we started heading back up right after that. Okay. It's been ridiculous. I'll do one more point over here and I'll show this to you guys. When you're in the top red zone, Please listen carefully here. When the trend exhaustion is in the top red zone and you have the well money flow at the top as well, that is double confirmation. You guys are asking me over email. I love doing emails with you guys and helping you. You guys are like, why do I pair these together? It's for double confirmation. Okay, when you have the trend exhaustion up here and the price versus well money flow is kind of sitting in the middle, yes, historically, you actually are going to still see prices drop in the market. But when you are combining the top zone being hit with the trend exhaustion, as well as the whale money flow in green being very high up here, that's when you can see massive drops in the market and you need to be very careful of that. Okay, why did I just put you guys through all of that? Why did you guys see that? Well, currently at the moment, we are pushing down to lower sections of the trend exhaustion down here and we are getting a little bit lower if we start pushing down here to the bottom side of the well money flow. This historically has seen a pushback up to the upside. So we might actually start seeing a little bit of a rebound before the end of the week. Okay, now let's get into the deep analysis here. I wanted to show that to you guys of how ridiculously accurate this, these indicators are. I am going to be using these 
to be able to call exits for those of you guys getting ready for your long trade in Dogecoin. Okay, so make sure you guys do have these on your charts. Again, you have 48 hours and then I will be upping the price. Okay, watch this. We need to come over here and we're gonna go to the resources tab. Um, you just type in resources backslash tradeconfident.io backslash resources. Real quick guys, this is, uh, let me just do this real quick so you guys aren't confused here. What I'm looking at is our site, tradeconfident.io. It's $49 a month. You get access to all the metrics. I am going to be going over the, those today, the emotional index, the long versus short trades, long versus short trade risk, well on institutional smart money, support resistance prices, dollar cost average holds, as well as exit points. I will go over that today. But what I want you guys to be doing more than anything today is setting up your long trade. If you guys don't if you get anything out of this video, it is you need to be setting up your long trade. Click right here on Dogecoin, and then you guys will see a chart that looks exactly like this. You're gonna see Bitcoin, you're gonna see exactly four yellow lines below the current price for Dogecoin and all of our coins right now. I will be updating these at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but what you guys need to do is get them set up now. I'm telling you guys, for Dogecoin, set it up now, like even before eight. You guys are most likely gonna hit your first buy limit either today or this week. Get in there once your first buy limit is hit on Dogecoin. Set your sell limit at the first yellow line and follow me over on Telegram. If you guys go over here, click Telegram, you guys can automatically get added over there um, with your membership. And then make sure you guys are following me with the indicators here because I will be calling profitable exits. We are still holding a trade in here from our entry at 26 cents and we still have three buy limits to go before we even get fully triggered out of this trade. This is gonna be a very hard trade for people to lose, okay? Let's get into what I'm, I was trying to say. I'm sorry I took that took so long, guys. I just wanna make sure you guys are fully informed of what we're doing over here and how we're able to make these profits. Watch this. I want to show you guys the resource page here. This is what's called the psychology of a market cycle, okay? You basically have an, a huge impulse, basically a bunch of emotions, followed by one of the biggest drops you'll ever see in crypto. It, it's the initial market cycle of an impulse to a correction is insane. I want you guys to pay very close attention to this right now. I'm going to compare this to Dogecoin because it is holding very, very true. Come over here with me to the one day time frame. Let's shrink the chart down. And I'm just going to go a little bit slower. I, I want you guys to fully see everything I'm about to show you. Okay. Watch the correlation here. We saw that we had the initial pump up in Bitcoin. Okay. We saw the initial pump in Dogecoin. All right. Most assets will move down and get a 50% retracement back to close to the high, okay? So you take the low, you take the high, you take a Fibonacci 50% retracement and you get about 50% back way up, uh, the, the way back up, okay? You saw the impulse here, the move down and a 50% retracement right here, okay? This came up about 50% of the high, follow me here. As we move down, you start seeing moves up like this, like the panic. I believe that panic phase is actually where we're currently at, all right? Coming back down, this stage right here Right here, let me, let me draw this around for you. I know you can't see it really well. This is what's called the capitulation to the anger stage, all right? I do believe this is the stage we are in right now for Dogecoin, and it's down here, where we could end up doing a little bit of this sideways movement for a while. But what happened with Bitcoin once we were at this stage? It did, it can do one of two things. What it did is it shelved off for a little bit here, and it completely dropped to the low. Okay, it dropped back to this low over here, all right? Watch what could happen here. If Dogecoin does follow this, it can come back down and move to this structure low down here, which would put us right around five cents, okay? Let me pull this out so you guys can see this. It's right around five cents at the bottom here. We're used, you know, look, watch this. Those structures right there, 0.054. I mean, arguably you could say probably 0.06, but I'm calling five cents and 50 cents. All right, that is why I've been doing this in the past videos of why I do think we could hit five cents again and why it's extremely important that you guys are using our buy limits and you are dollar cost averaging into all these trades, okay? If you guys get in right now, you'll have a 22% better entry than what I'm even calling on this video. So you guys are like, you guys are almost, I don't, I can't say guarantee, but if you guys just set up your buy limit right now on Dogecoin on the front page under live trades, Come over here, click live trade, set it up. I believe this is gonna be a very hard trade to lose and I do believe this is one of the coins that can explode and the reason why you're not hearing much about it is because I think it's not, there's this calm before the storm that always happens when people like almost forget about coins that fall off the top, the top, top excuse me, the top five or the top 10 of coin market cap, they fall off and they're like, oh my gosh, I wonder, like where did they go? And then overnight you guys hear about them again, don't you? Like. Okay, watch this other prediction. Why do I say 50 cents? Let's move back over here. 
As we started moving back up here into the second psychological move of the market cycle, I'm calling this the first move of the cycle, and then we're looking at the second move of the cycle, the disbelief move. The disbelief move did move back up to about a 50% retracement on the high of Bitcoin. Watch this. This is going to be a backwards pull here, but here's how you actually have to do this. You need to look to take the low here, and you need to take the high here. Okay, That is how you actually get a 50% retracement back to the top. This is sitting right around Right in the middle of the golden zone, we have 50 cents right here, okay? That is why I do believe by the end of the year, before Christmas, if we're gonna really blast off here, I believe this is the most realistic place that we can go, is right between this about 45 cents to up here at the top of maybe 50 to 53 cents. Five cents and 50 cents. That is where I'm currently predicting, and that is the reason why. We've seen this happen before on Bitcoin. It did play out positively in its favor, so we gotta see how long this takes. Also, watch this though. Depending on how many bulls get into the market for Dogecoin, this ended up taking, let's say we're in this, um, you know, basically consolidation zone right here, one, two, three, four, five months. Okay, we're currently moving into October, so we have three months left. If Dogecoin is going to make a move, it's gonna have to happen fast, and if we do make a move, and once we're in this long trade, like literally you guys will get, I'm, I'm pretty confident you'll get triggered into this long trade either today or sometime in the next few days. What I really need you guys to be doing on here is watch the trend exhaustion and the price versus the well money flow. Once we start seeing this push back up into the top red section, you guys need to be looking to take profit, okay? These are extremely powerful, and this is why we are 44 for 44 wins. Last time this got up here, guys, you need to look to take profit before you see this market drop back down. You're in the top section. This literally is calling the top moves down here before we started moving back down, okay? Even over here, pushing into the top, it called this top before I moved back down. I know a lot of you guys want to see cryptocurrency blast off to 150000 before the end of the year. Well, yes, it could happen, but but I'm not gonna base this off what what could happen. We need to be simply using really good risk management and we need to be getting in here and exiting when we're in the profit. Literally guys, your buy limit right now is right around here. So if you guys wanted to, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this right now, you could enter your first market order on Dogecoin right now. I know it's a longer video, but you guys wanna know how we haven't lost a trade yet? I'm giving it all to you right now. So come over here and you guys can do this this morning. Um, you guys do need your membership for this. Click over, you know, 49 bucks a month. It's super cheap. I am going to be looking to raise the price of that just to let you guys know. I've been talking with our like marketing team and I'm like, guys, this thing is too low. I, I think I'm going to be raising the price of this. Like it it's worth way more. Follow me here. Click on Dogecoin. It's going to, I'm going to use this as an example for Bitcoin. I want to keep it private for our members. Here's what you guys can do right now for Dogecoin. Since we are so stinking low right now, you have four buy limits, like I explained in the beginning of this video. You can right now go ahead and put in 25% as a market order, if you wanted to, on Dogecoin. By the way, this is for people who are afraid it's not going to go down anymore. I am not calling this as an official entry. I'm going to leave you guys in the Telegram channel. I want you guys to wait for the first buy. But I know there's people who are like, this is so low, I want to get in right now. I understand. Let me teach you that right now then. Okay. 25% exit at a market order for Dogecoin. What you need to do if you're gonna do that is you need to bypass your first buy limit. Why? Because you are skipping your first one and you're putting a market order in. So if you have $1,000, 25% at each level, 250, 250, 250, 250. Market order with 250 for Dogecoin. The second yellow line is gonna be your first buy limit. Your third yellow line is gonna be your second buy limit. Your fourth yellow line is gonna be your third buy limit. The prices are over here to the right. That's how you can literally set up for Dogecoin right now and get into this trade, guys. I do believe this is going to be a very hard trade to lose because we are so close to the bottom. Like, does this not look like one of the greatest opportunities to buy any coin ever? Like, guys, we're not buying up here. We're not following in at the top. Like, we're literally, like, if it goes further, it's going down to five cents and it's going down to 10 cents. But even with that, our dollar cost average entries, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, they're down here at uh, they're actually lower than five cents. <clears throat> but trust me, I'm going to keep you guys extremely safe in this trade. And if this thing goes down, I believe de demand is going to take over. The rubber band effect is going to move. And I think you guys are going to do very well on Dogecoin. Okay. I'm still holding Dogecoin in my Robinhood account. Once I'm in some really good profit, I'll bring it over to Coinbase. Okay. So let's go over now and let's take a look at the metrics today to see what we can predict in the short term. I know this is a longer video, but you guys were asking for it. And I'm giving you everything. I I think we've got something really special over here, and, and I want you guys to be watching this. 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, these metrics are going to update. You obviously get access to this when you have your membership for all of these coins, these same metrics on all of these, okay? The emotional index is pushing us down into the anxious section. When we see this happen, this is the greatest times ever to buy cryptocurrency. It is because normal retail traders are anxious in the market, 
And they're like, is it going to keep going down? I don't know. So they end up selling. They end up selling. Like this is a huge sell-off right here. This is a huge sell-off right here as well. People are selling off. But I can promise you guys, if you are following our metrics on here, wells and institutions are buying this thing. If you go down, you can clearly see like, like doesn't this just look like the craziest buying opportunity? Like here's where we're at, guys. Like here's where we're at. Like, why are more people not buying? Like, the only reason why I'm not buying, guys, is because I have my money tied up in Robinhood. But if I was in this and you guys are asking me over email and I'm coaching you guys, you're like, what's your like, what's your other coin? I'm like, 88 Ethereum and Dogecoin. Like, you guys can vouch for it because I've, I've answered emails yesterday about that. Like, Dogecoin could be one of those coins that it's like, it's, it needs to be in your diversified portfolio because of how high we could go here. There has just been an accumulation of long trades in the market here. And if you guys don't believe this, watch the on-chain metrics right here. As price has been moving down here, exchange flow has been showing that long trades are increasing and short trades are decreasing. Guys, what does this tell you? If short trades are decreasing, that means everyone going short is not comfortable. They're not comfortable going short anymore. So what are they doing? They're expecting the price to move back up. That's why short trades exit the market. You want to know why they increased right here into the market for short trades is because we saw this dip in the market right there. We saw this dip right here. Short trades increased right there. Okay. And then we saw the dip. What's happening right now? Short trades are like, okay, we're getting the heck out of here. Why? Because I think they understand that there could be a big move coming for Dogecoin. And to positively correlate all this together, we do see long trades increasing on the blockchain for Bitfinex, for Dogecoin, as well as the Wells and institutions looking to acquire this. Look at the acquisition they did down here of long trades. That was at the bottom here, and look at what the move did up there. We ended up seeing this move back up. Like, guys, this is holding true so well. Okay, watch this real quick. If you're looking at long for short trade risk, this is sitting into the neutral. Um, if we head down a little bit further, I'm pretty sure we're going to be tagged in here to the bottom section of the good long trade and maybe even the, the great long trade. Point being, guys, we are so low down here that this is the time to be buying. Okay, move down here a little bit more. So you guys know five cents. If this thing starts pumping up very fast, where are we going to hit our pit stop? It is absolutely going to be at this level of where we're going to see the strongest resistance before we start flying up. It's right around this cluster here of about 25 cents. Why 25 cents? It is a psychological quarters theory number. 25 cents places us right here. A lot of action has happened here. This is where we came up, we bounced down. We came up, we bounced down, like right here, right there, right there. So as this thing starts moving back up here, I do believe, yes, this is going to be a resistance. We'll probably hit, we'll probably go like this, maybe do a little bit of sideways movement, but I do believe 25 cents is going to be the strongest resistance you guys are going to hit. Again, you guys need to be looking to take some profit out on this long trade once you hit the top red section. If this isn't proof, Put, guys, put these on your chart today before they go up in price and you'll go back and literally just circle all of these or, or you know, do whatever you want to do. Um, use whatever tools you want. Look at what happens when this gets to the top section. Like it is dropping like every single time we are seeing drops in the market. Like when it doesn't drop, like watch this right here. When this thing does, well, actually that's, I'm sorry, like literally dropped right after. So when it doesn't drop exactly on time and it does move back up a little bit, that's where you need to be even more cautious because that's where it's calling moves back down. Like look at this top red zone right here. That's exactly where we ended up seeing this call back down. So I, I know I'm a broken record on this, but I'm like, guys, please watch this because I know a ton of you guys are going to get into this long trade. Once we hit this top red zone, please exit at minimum 25% if not 50% of your trade, okay? When that happens, most likely the, the well money flow is gonna be pushed up here as well. And if you guys have double confirmation, that is headed down literally every single time we have seen that have a double comp, double confirmation, it's moved down. These are the best indicators used for crypto. I coded indicators for tradingview.com for a, a living two years ago, guys. And there's a reason why I only use these three on the chart. We have other ones, but there's a reason why, okay? Dollar cost average entries. This is for people who wanna hold. Um, this came out here. Guys, are we gonna call the bottoms every single time? Um, sometimes, <laughs> but not all the time. This is for those of you guys who wanna hold for five to 10 years and you're like, man, I believe this thing's gonna go up and go up and go up. Awesome. This is where you just throw money in. I do suggest if you guys are using this strategy that you use between four to five different coins. If you have a thousand dollars that you want to throw into the market every single time, you know, break it up into five segments, you know, put $200 into each coin. Every time you get a green bar every single morning, every single day, these metrics update at 8 a.m. Pacific standard time, throw money in, wait for five to 10 years. That's what you guys can do. Not financial advice, but literally that's what some people are doing and you're doing fantastic. Okay. Take a look at this. Exit points. This did end up calling the top here on Dogecoin before we started moving back down, as well as this called the top before I moved down. 
what I'm going to be doing for you guys is once we're in this long trade down here, I want you guys to be very careful here and watch when we get up here to see when we print these red bars because that will be looking, excuse me, I have something in my eye here. Um, we will be looking to take about 25 to 50% exit with the trend exhaustion, but this is going to be confirmation that we'll be looking for that exit. Okay, guys? Let's wrap this entire video up. You guys can clearly see what Wells and institutions are doing right now. You can clearly see the on-chain metrics of what's happening with Dogecoin. I believe there is a pump getting ready for Dogecoin. Could we head down to five cents? Absolutely. But we are safe because our buy limits are in there for us. Guys, it's gonna be, again, set your trade up over here on Dogecoin, tradeconfident.io, get your membership, live trades, scroll down under Dogecoin. You have four yellow lines. Set those up at your buy limits and just hold. Be patient. Patience equals profit, all right? Once you guys do that, I want you to get your trend exhaustion, your price versus your one money flow, and the trend dashboard on your charts. The bundle pack is the best deal. It's not going to go up in price here. It's going to appreciate in value. Get that over on our website over here and then set that up and get ready here this week and over the weekend to look to exit this trade once we get into the top red position up here because that's been calling literally every single drop. Okay. I saw, I'm sorry if I'm more like, um, not so fun and goofy, but like more serious on this video because I, I'm trying to be serious on this because this could be a huge potential for you guys. And this is one of the coins where I have a very hard time seeing that you guys are actually going to lose on this. I do think this is going to be a very good win and you're getting in 22% lower than the last trade call that we made. That is why I'm adamant about this, guys. Like, if we were in, you know, something like other coins like Matic and Link, where we're, we're a little bit higher and Dogecoin's so low, I wouldn't be this this excited and confident about this. But I'm saying, guys, I'm gonna end this video here because I know I'm getting long here. Get the trend exhaustion, the price first to one money flow. Watch when it gets to the top section here. Get your buy limit set up. Get into this trade, and I will be covering this on this channel. And I will be updating you guys over on the Telegram channel of things that I see, just like I did yesterday on ADA. Okay, and this is how we are 44 for 44 wins. Go back in here and look at the other wins. Um, you guys can see them in here. All of them are not calculated on here because I just started this channel about uh, a week and a half ago. But every single one of these trades, all 44 are logged on the trading, uh, the, the uh, excuse me, the uh, YouTube channel. If you guys go back and watch this, okay? Have a good one, guys. God bless you. Everything you need is in the description. You have 48 hours left to snag the indicators as they go up in price. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye, guys.